Hi, this time we will explain the storyline of a film called Blast from the Past, which was released back in 1999. This film tells of a child who was born and grew up in an underground shelter because his parents thought their country was being bombed. Blast. Blast five years. As an adult, the child goes out into the world for the first time and gets a lot of new experiences. So this is public transportation. All right, here's the storyline. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, I know I, I This film begins by showing a married couple named Calvin and Helen who were having a party at their house. Oh, heaven's sakes, please don't bring that up. From the conversations of the guests, it was known that Calvin used to be a professor at Caltech but stopped teaching after finding something that made him rich. Meanwhile, his wife named Helen was a housewife who was pregnant. Some guests considered Calvin to be weird, crazy, and had an extreme fear of war. When the party was going on, there was news on TV that mentioned the missile attack in Cuba. The news also mentioned that the attack could possibly strike cities in the Western Hemisphere. After hearing the news, Calvin ended the party and asked all of his guests to go home while he and Helen entered the secret shelter that he had built underground. Okay, folks, let's go. If I have to, I'll deliver the baby myself. After entering the shelter, a plane fell on their house and caused a big vibration. Calvin thought it was a nuclear bomb explosion and quickly closed the door of the shelter. At that time, the surface indicator was damaged so that he could not monitor the situation above and quickly closed the shelter door. Calvin explained to his wife that after a nuclear bomb detonated, there would be radiation that lasted for up to 35 years before the area that was hit by the bomb was safe to inhabit again. Blast. Blast 35 years. Calvin and Helen ended up living in the shelter. The shelter that Calvin built turned out to be very spacious and had all the necessities they needed to live there. Calvin even had a place to grow vegetables and farm fish. Shortly after living there, Helen gave birth to a baby boy named Adam. Meanwhile, after the plane hit Calvin's house, people came and checked the situation, but they thought Calvin and Helen had left the house before the plane hit their house. The ruins of Calvin's house were later cleared, and a few years later, they built a new building there. During the construction process, workers found a hard surface that seemed to be Calvin's shelter, but they thought it was a septic tank. Their foreman finally ordered to install a new foundation so that the septic tank would be buried. Hey, the land of Calvin's house eventually turned into a tavern, which was crowded with people. The owner of the tavern was a woman, and she employed an employee named Melker. Back to Calvin and his family. They lived in the shelter well off and happy, even though Helen seemed to hide her depressed feelings because she continued to live underground. This is different. Believe me. Adam grew up to be a good and intelligent child because the genius Calvin always taught him many things, ranging from general knowledge, foreign languages, knowledge of the outside world, and martial arts. Apart from that, Helen always taught him about table manners and dancing. When Adam was a teenager, Calvin gave all the certificates he had and all his collection of baseball cards. At that time, Adam did not understand what baseball was, and Calvin explained it with difficulty. This is wonderful. No, there's a man who throws the ball to a man who... One day, their shelter lock opened automatically. It turned out that day was exactly 35 years they had lived in the shelter. They immediately checked the door, and Calvin decided to go up to the surface to check the situation. 16th century colloquialism, meaning roughly, can we just go on up? On top of the shelter, the tavern that used to be there was now bankrupt. The area around it had turned into a rather seedy suburb full of homeless people and thugs. The woman who owned the shop had moved and handed over her shop to Melker, who now lived in the slum. When Calvin went up to the surface using his elevator, the tavern experienced an earthquake, and the floor was destroyed by the force of Calvin's elevator door. In my eye, skyward, a time or two. Oh, God! Melker thought Calvin was God, while Calvin thought Melker was a mutant. 
After that, Calvin started exploring outside, and he was surprised to see that his yard had turned into a very unfamiliar place. Calvin also saw thugs, drunks, and transgenders. When a thug pointed a gun at him, he got scared and went into the porn shop, but he got even more hysterical in there. After that, Calvin returned and told the situation above to his family. Calvin, who came from the past, was not familiar with the wild culture in the suburbs, so he thought that all the people he saw up there were mutants who had survived the bomb attack. Calvin also emphasized to them to stay in the shelter, but Helen refused and still wanted to move to the surface. They had argued until finally Calvin was in pain and collapsed. Helen examined him. It turned out that Calvin was fine, but his condition was still weak. At that time, all of their supplies had run out because Calvin only prepared enough supplies for 35 years for three people. Because of that, Adam decided to go up and find them new supplies. I hope this is still good up there. See, Mom? Yeah. Girls from Pasadena, I don't know, just don't see them. Adam went up to the surface and Melker made an offering near the elevator because he considered him a son of God. After that, Adam started to come out and was amazed. When he saw the sky for the first time, Adam began to explore and see all things that were new to him. Or like you. <laughs> so this is public transportation. When he arrived at the grocery store, Adam realized he didn't have enough money because today's prices were different from past prices. The butcher then advised him to order goods and have it delivered to his house. But Adam did not know where his house was and realized that he was lost. When Adam went looking for his house, he found a baseball card shop and he wanted to sell all his collection of baseball cards his father gave him. The shop owner was surprised by all the collections that Adam had and offered everything at a low price. Adam agreed, but a female worker named Eve told him that one baseball card he had was more expensive than the shop owner offered. Get out of here. No, you get out of here. After that, Eve was immediately fired, but she didn't bother and left the store with Adam. After that, Adam, who fell in love at first sight with Eve, said that he was lost. Here, help me pick up. After talking, Eve ran away because she felt Adam was a suspicious person. But Adam asked her to take him to the Holiday Inn. Instead, Eve would be paid with a baseball card worth $400. Eve finally agreed, and they headed to the Holiday Inn. This is where it really takes off. Wait for it. First time on the freeway is Weber. Arriving there, Eve immediately left and Adam stayed in a room on the 18th floor, Adam was surprised because for the first time he saw a view of the city from above. The next day, Eve called him again because she felt bad that she received an expensive baseball card just to drive him to the hotel. After handing the card to Adam, Eve left again and said that she had to find a job but Adam chased her and offered Eve to work for him. Adam said he needed help from Eve to sell his baseball cards and buy a lot of necessities. After negotiating a salary, Eve agreed. The two of them started buying all the stuff that Adam needed. There was so much stuff that it filled several trucks. <laughs> I'm gonna need all of this. Poultry. <laughs> when they were together, Adam tried to convey his feelings to Eve, but Eve did not give him a chance and immediately rejected Adam. After that, Adam respected Eve's decision and asked her to find him a wife. Because looking for a wife took a long time, Eve invited Adam to her house. <laughs> Arriving at Eve's house, they ran into Eve's ex-boyfriend named Cliff. Cliff came to pick up his belongings and return the key to Eve's house. Thanks. Adam then lived in Eve's house for a while with Eve and her brother named Troy. They hit it off easily, and Adam was surprised to learn that Troy had a personal computer in his house. The next day, Adam was invited by Troy to shop. Previously, Adam wore old school clothes made by his mother. Now Adam looked more manly when wearing modern clothes. Not only clothes, Adam also bought roller skates. Eve and Troy escorted Adam to a place where he could skate freely. While traveling around, Adam saw the sea for the first time and immediately ran to the beach happily. Not only that, Adam also felt the rain for the first time and was invited to watch baseball by Troy, which finally made him understand the game of baseball. Understand it. 
One night, Eve and Troy brought Adam to a club called Club 40s to find a wife. There they met Eve's acquaintance named Sophie. Sophie was very interested in Adam and they had a chance to talk in French. This upset Eve and she immediately took Adam away. After that, the three of them sat drinking and Troy said that the suitable woman for Adam was a sweet girl. They then were looking for a suitable woman and when they met, Adam began to approach her. Unexpectedly, Adam immediately got along with the woman. Even he immediately danced with her and one other woman. Adam danced skillfully and attracted the attention of many people. Seeing that, Eve was again upset and called Adam. After Adam returned, Eve instead vented her frustration. Where the hell did you learn to dance like that? And at that time, Cliff came and took Eve to have a drink with him. Now it was Adam's turn to be upset and he approached them. At that time, Cliff tried to hit Adam, but Adam, who was good at martial arts, was always getting the upper hand. Isn't Cliff just a butt with hair? What? Because she was getting even more upset, Eve went home earlier. When Troy came home, he tried to convince Eve that she had fallen in love with Adam, but Eve denied it. Troy also said that Adam went home to Sophie, and that made Eve immediately go looking for him. But when Eve was just getting into the car, Adam came and surprised her until she fell. After that, Adam treated Eve's injured leg. At that time, Adam told all about his story. Adam told that after the bomb fell, his parents lived in an underground shelter and he was born there. Adam also said that he wanted to invite Eve to go there to live with his father and mother. This made Eve shocked and confused. Then she ordered Adam to return to the inn. Good night, Adam. The next day, while grocery shopping with Troy, Adam found the porn shop, which was a sign that his house was nearby. Finally, Adam managed to find his shelter. When he and Troy returned to Eve's home, there was Nina and Brown from the County Family Services Department who asked him to go with them. Eve apparently told them about what Adam told her, because after hearing what Adam said last night, Eve became afraid and worried that Adam had a mental disorder. Living in a bomb shelter. Adam, who was going to be taken away, immediately ran away. When Nina was about to call the police to arrest Adam, Eve prevented her and instead chattered incoherently. Eve believed in Adam, but had mixed feelings and didn't know what to do. I, I believe him. I think he just... After that, Adam returned home and was greeted by his parents. Adam brought Melker, who thought they were God. Apparently, Melker acted as a bishop, and the other tramps gathered as a congregation to worship Adam's family, Melker and his congregation offered to help Adam haul all their stuff. When Eve and Troy checked where Adam kept all his groceries, it turned out that the place was empty. After that, Eve and Troy returned home and checked Adam's belongings that were left behind. There was a collection of his baseball cards as well as Adam's certificates that his father had given him. Also, Troy saw Adam's old-fashioned toothpaste that was for sale in 1961. After that, Troy called someone to ask about the certificate owned by Adam. According to that person, the certificate was now very expensive. Based on his belongings, Troy finally realized that what Adam said was the truth and he was not crazy. Eve finally confessed her feelings for Adam. And after that, they then intended to look for Adam. Troy took Eve to a porn shop that Adam had visited and thought Adam's house was down there. They entered the shop but couldn't find Adam. When they had given up and were about to go home, Eve saw Adam and immediately called him. They immediately embraced. After that, Adam introduced Eve to his parents and they seemed very happy. Adam asked his parents to stay in the shelter for two months while he was leaving. His parents who trusted Adam then complied. After that, Adam was assisted by Eve to sell his certificate and had a lot of money. Adam built a house exactly like theirs on a lonely hill. Adam and Eve also explained to Melker that Adam was not God. After the house that Adam built was finished, they brought Calvin and Helen there. Helen looked very happy and cheerful. They planned to tell Calvin and Helen the truth slowly. 
so they wouldn't be surprised. Even so, when Adam was alone with Calvin, he told his father that in the past there was no bomb that exploded, but a plane crashed into their house. In the end, Eve lived there with them, and she always tried to understand whatever strange things that her new family did.